On the anniversary of a dread moment in the global market meltdown, President Barack Obama came to Wall Street with a stern warning. Some titans of finance are already ignoring the lessons, again making reckless deals and offering bloated bonuses for quick kills. Those on Wall Street cannot resume taking risks without regard for consequences and expect that next time American taxpayers will be there to break their fall. It was a year ago that the collapse of Lehman Brothers helped unleash a worldwide panic. Since then, Obama says a massive bank bailout and government spending spree have helped markets restabilize. We're beginning to return to normalcy. But here's what I want to emphasize today. Normalcy cannot lead to complacency. Hence his fresh call to Congress to pass strict new financial rules of the road. Obama would give the Fed sweeping powers over the market's biggest players and create a new consumer agency to police credit cards, mortgages and other personal loans. Yet the president's ideas have hit a lobbying wall in Congress. In the meantime, here on Wall Street, his calls for extensive new regulation and curbs on executive compensation are decidedly unpopular. Wall Street traders watched his speech with a healthy dose of skepticism. We don't like to see big government. There's no question about it. We're a free market capitalist society behind all of these traders. We like to see that continue. The reality is, is that we're all in this together. We all have to look at this as a, as a whole and not as a, a political party. But when Obama talks, is the street listening? He says what he calls the bad old ways simply have to change. History cannot be allowed to repeat itself. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, New York.